Right, so, you join us where we left off, only it's the following morning. Um, there's rain on the way. That crop hasn't been harvested yet. I wonder if that's a harvesting contract I could do today. That'd be quite good. Uh, so, yes, we've built up 500 litres of fabric over at the spinnery and nothing has distributed to here so far. It might be a case of it can only distribute when it gets to a full pallet size. Having said that, I did take it off distribute because I was I'm worried that it's going to go somewhere else. And now that we've got the pickup, we can easily just transfer it over here. So it is now time. Oh, loads of metal there. Let's see what we've got in the way of uh, in the way of wool. Okay, so we've got a little bit of wool, but not much. Not really worth taking that over, to be perfectly honest. No. Six hundred and forty-nine liters. Well, no, no, that wouldn't. It wouldn't work. Uh, they're doing well for food. Hello, sheep. Hello, sheep. Yep, they're doing really well for food. I think it would be a good idea to go sell loads of products. And for that, I need the lorry. Where's my lorry? There it is. Right, so I need to go get the flatbed trailer. Actually, do you know what? I'm going to see if the there is a harvesting contract first. Uh, which field is it? Ah, Jimmy Caldwell. It is field one, isn't it? It is field one. Do I want to do that? I think I can make a lot more money just by selling products, to be perfectly honest. I've got the opportunity to do plenty of harvesting in my other series. So we need to go to the paper factory, get the paper, and then come back to get the metal. So I'll see you over at the paper factory. Right, let's get this tree into here. There we go. And now let's get the paper rolls loaded up. Oh, that's not so good. Tell you what, let's get them loaded up from the side. Because that's as narrow as the ramps go. That wasn't a good idea. There we go. Better. Thank you. 
And I've done it. I've wedged. I've wedged it in again. God damn it! Right. I'm gonna get all these things loaded. And then I'll see you in a bit. I'm stuck in a box. Okay, we're all loaded up with paper. Not worth trying to get any metal on here as well because, um, well, we won't. So we'll take this down and we will call the train. And then once we've loaded this onto the train, we'll go and pick up 
as much metal as we can and we'll put that on the train as well. I'm always worried about... I, I always get worried about selling all the metal in case we need it for the constructions, but we'll make more before they need them anyway, even if we do need it again. I really got to stop worrying. This paper factory though has been, uh, been an absolute dream. It's really, really boosted our um, our money and our. What am I trying to say? Business, I suppose. Really boosted our business. Without the paper factory, we'd still be um, still be struggling, I think. got ourselves a nice little tiny little farm down here some productions a boat yard lots of metal oh look staircase railings another bit of money then right so I'll call the train and we can sell everything how far away is it 2.7 not too bad okay good Hmm, that's good. So we've got some staircase railings to sell as well. Brilliant. I hope I don't need them for the next stage of the... No, I shouldn't do, because there's loads of storage at the, um, at the roller coaster. But yeah. It's all going really well. Okay. I shall see you when the train is loaded. Okay, here we are, fully loaded. Let's go get the everything strapped on properly. And then fall off the platform. No. And then we'll go sell it. Right then. So I oh, want that one selected. Unstrap. Strap. There we go. Everything is now strapped on and let's go sell it. Uh oh. I lost the I lost the pallet. Oh well, at least it's on my field. Lost the pallet of staircase railings. Careless. It doesn't bode well for the explosion that's likely to happen at the end, does it? What is this front trailer even properly for? Is it put for the prefab walls or... Oh, hello. Or is it for something else? Because I can't figure out what goes on there. 500,000. And I don't think anything exploded off. No, it doesn't look like it. Brilliant. Uh, right then. Where am I? Here. Those, um, those staircase railings can stay over there for now. Okay, let's have a look and see what's going on. So, they've got everything they need. That's missing wool. That's got plenty of wood. That I'm not needing right now. That I'm not needing right now. Oh, the st oh storing bowls. Okay, so that's... So we could go sell some pepper grinders and some bowls then. That sounds good. And I think I will take the pickup with the trailer on it. Put this over here out of the way. There we are. 
We'll grab the pickup and get it on the trailer. You know what? We might as well take that wool over at the same time. It's... No, actually, no. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait till tomorrow and take it all over together, I think. It doesn't take awfully long to process at the, um, at the spinnery. But yeah, when, we, when we've got this field full of cotton, when we've got that cotton harvested, that's going to that's going to keep our spinnery going for quite a while, so we'll have less less pressure on the sheep. Because I know they're feeling a lot of stress at the minute to get that wool to get that wool sorted. Let's see how much we can make with the pepper grinders and the bowls. It's not going to be 500,000, obviously. But I'm in the unusual situation at the minute where I have quite a lot of money, but nothing I really need to spend it on right now. I think there'll be a couple of productions coming up. But that's a very unusual situation. Usually I've got lists of things that I need to buy. In fact, I know that that's one of them. The um, furniture store. Okay, so there's only four pallets. Right. Well, we'll take them anyway. We'll take them anyway. Oh, that's untidy of me. Now, I think the, the best sell point for these uh, are literally right behind the cafe right behind us over there. So, not far to go with them. Not far to go at all. This is it. All sold. 20,000 isn't bad for four pallets, I don't think. That's pretty good. Now, big question is, what's left to do? I know what the boat's waiting for. The boat's waiting for the fabric. Let's go and see what the roller coaster's waiting for. Do we have rested since the last time we checked it? So it might have moved on a stage, or it might still be working through that stage. Best thing we can do is to go find out. So it's still working through that stage. It's definitely looking a bit more roller coastery now. So that's good. But yeah, it's slowly working through. Right. I don't think there's anything we can do now except rest. So, let's jump back over here and have a good night's sleep. We have slept. So, aha, so we have moved on to the next step, do we have enough of everything? My gut feeling is probably not, uh, we've got enough planks, we've got enough long planks, we have enough wood beams, staircase railings, yep we've got plenty, prefab walls, we've got, oh, we've got 2,000 of those that we don't need. Um, Metal. We need metal. Let's go and grab it some metal. And what are we doing for floor tiles? Floor tiles are fine. So, we need five pallets of metal, I think. Actually, come on, boy. Check these things. One pallet of metal. 400, not 4,000. So, one pallet of metal will be enough. And 
we also need to bring the fabric down to the spinnery. Oh, sorry, the wool down to the spinnery to make the fabric. So, one pallet of metal. That will go in there. Oh, that's not right. And then what have we got in the way of wool? Not a lot, but it's worth taking down there. The quicker we can get the fabric over to the boathouse, the better. Come on, sheeps. More pressure. So, first things first, let's get the wool dropped off at the spinnery here, there we are, and the metal needs to be dropped off at the roller coaster. In fact, I probably need to activate that production again. Yep, there we go. to the sub point and we get paid for this there we go nearly 10,000 but yeah anything we deliver to here we get paid for okay so yeah that gives us everything we need for this step as well so it's, it's once again it is a waiting game Now, I could get more wood cut down to prepare to get the sawmill up and running again, although there's nothing actually we need at the minute. But if I get the sawmill filled up with wood, at least it's ready. Um, keep the paper mill topped up as well. Hmm. Not an awful lot I can do. So that, we should be able to get a full pallet of fabric out of there. So that will get the, um, that will get them started on the sales. So... Let's head out to the edge and get some more trees cut down. I want to go to the edge because it's easier to get them all picked up from there. So yeah, if we cut quite a few down, we'll be able to get a couple of loads, get the um, sawmill topped up with wood, and get the paper mill topped up with wood as well. I did plant quite a few down here too, so... Right, 
I'm going to drag this out. I'm going to get some trees cut down. The one thing I've noticed is that there are other fresh trees here. The Ponderosa's Pines. So I think that um, trees slowly sprout anyway. Well, we've planted a lot of these um, these pine trees here, the lodgepole pines, uh, and they they stand to get a lot bigger as well. They're not, but um, but these little ones here, I didn't plant these; they've just appeared. So there is a good chance. The trees automatically regenerate anyway from the seeds of the other trees. That's really cool. Anyway, I'm going to call an end to today's episode. We're going to get more trees cut down and loaded up next time, taken to the sawmill. So, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again soon. Bye for now.